Hello N4 H&H &H here with the Yaesu FTDX 5000. The MP model comes with the 300 Hertz roofing filter and it's a 200 watt radio and I've featured it in over 200 videos on this channel. Um, so I have an opportunity to show you something as soon as the other station transmits. Not sure what that beep is. You hear that? Almost like a NASA beep. Turn that off. That's my soda watch alert over there. When the other station comes back, I'll I'll, I'll uh, show you what I want you to see. So while he's talking, I'll mention what's going on. Uh, they're talking about up oh, there. He is. Okay, now right now we are listening on my doublet. That's 250 feet of wire fed in the middle with ladder line. I've featured it on the channel before. Uh, in the last two or three months, you've seen me trying different balance. All right, now he's using a Cushcraft R6000 vertical. And that's what this video is about. What I want you to know is he has it 12 feet in the air. Mine is about 12, maybe 15 up um, in the air mounted to the corner of my back deck. And I have an R5, which is the predecessor. Okay, but what I want to do is I'm going to switch over to my R5 and, and illustrate something. That's my R5. Now look at the S meter. Granted, remember, S meters are not totally accurate, but we can do a relative observation. That's back to my doublet. And by the way, a doublet is a doublet antenna system because the feed line, the ladder line, is a functional part of the antenna. Just, just giving you a little technical stuff there. All right, but so I'm using a horizontal doublet. There's a vertical. He's using a vertical. So this illustrates something that I've, I've, I've mentioned in another video on the channel. And actually, if you look at the diversity received video uh, from, I don't know, a year or so ago, maybe two years ago, um, I, I spoke of, uh, you know, the how the polarization affects our signals. Well, so remember, the deal is, once your signal hits the ionosphere, so that we call that sky wave, okay, um, it tumbles. So he can be using a vertical, I can be using a vertical, but I might actually receive him better on a horizontal. The thing is, what I want you to get is, it does not matter if the other stations, horizontal or vertical, uh, when you were talking skyway, that you know you're hitting the ionosphere, you're refracting or bending the signal back toward the Earth. Uh, it can even do multi hops, but I won't get into that on this video. But um, you're you're seeing an example there of where he was a vertical, and even on my vertical, I did not have a better signal on him than I did on my horizontal, uh, my my doublet antenna system. So uh, now. I mentioned sky wave. Ground wave, yes, it makes a difference. If, I mean, you'll have, uh, you know, upwards of 18, 20 dB of difference between vertical and horizontal polarization. So ground wave meaning, I'm, you know, I'm hugging the curvature of the earth, uh, for example. So we're not bouncing off the sky or refracting. We're talking antenna to antenna, okay? So that's like local communications. And um, so if I'm using a vertical, the other station will hear me better if they're using a vertical. And if I'm using a horizontal antenna, the other station will, will receive me better if they're using a horizontal antenna. Uh, you don't want to mix that up because of something called cross-polarization attenuation. Cross-polarization attenuation. It's just... Uh, you know, the, the radio waves, uh, I don't know, simple terminology, they're just not lining up with one another, right? Uh, so you're not getting the best signal when you try to mix horizontal and vertical when you're talking ground wave, hugging the curvature of the earth. 
So uh, Skywave doesn't matter that your signal is going to hit that ionosphere and, and, uh, and tumble. And so uh, the receiving station may get you better on a vertical. They may get you better on a horizontal. They may get you better on another antenna that may even be horizontal, but is has a different orientation, you know, different lobes. So just bear all that in mind. And, and that's why... And I've said this before on the channel, and I'll just leave you with this. That's why I tell my wife I cannot have too many antennas. Okay, that's a joke because truthfully, if you don't have enough room, enough acres to put up too many antennas, yeah, there can be some what's called proximity effect. Proximity effect where, uh, yeah, the antennas will begin, they'll reach a point where they start interacting with one another in a negative sort of way. So, you know, when you have multiple antennas, uh, you know, in a small confined space, do the best you can to separate them and, um, you know, op, uh, install them perpendicular to one another, you know, create a bunch of letter T's. But even then, leave as much space as you can between the antennas. Um, so, yeah, truthfully, you can't have too many antennas, but uh, don't tell my wife I said that. Hey, okay, thanks for watching the video. Thank you to the Patreon support team who bring these videos to you. Um, you know, without them, there would be no videos. I wouldn't be able to do this. If you'd like to join that team, uh, go to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH, patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. And uh, if you would, uh, click the like button, smash that thumbs up. That helps out the channel as well, and it doesn't cost you anything. Um, so please do that. Only get about 10% likes. That tells me maybe you don't like the content and I should quit. Um, okay, and another thing. Please consider subscribing to the channel. That helps it as well. Again, doesn't cost you anything. If you do subscribe, you might want to click that notification bell so you won't miss another video. Uh, I usually upload one and sometimes two a week. Okay, hey, thanks for watching. And 73 from N4HNH.